it is my pleasure to represent the competition organizers to announce the result of the dynamic pickup and delivery egg form competition in ICAPS 2021. I'm Mingxuan Yuan from Huawei Nasdaq Lab. Uh, this is a joint organized competition by Huawei Nasdaq Lab and the Sun Yixian University. Uh, the competition resources and platforms are supported by Huawei Cloud Computation Platform. So thank you for all the organizers, both the conference organizers, for providing us this great opportunity, and the competition organizer and the colleagues from Huawei Cloud for your hard work. Uh, and thank you for all the attendees. Without your support, we cannot make this successful competition. So again, uh, before going to the competition, uh, I'll quickly uh, introduce ourselves. We are from Huawei Nasdaq Lab, which is Huawei's machine learning and data mining research lab. We are located in more than uh, 10 locations all around the world. We have many research directions, including the typical machine learning research directions, for example, the CV, LP recommendation, and other directions, including the AI theory, AI system engineering and the decision making and reasoning. We have many advanced planning and scheduling egg form research requirements, which cover a broad range of applications. For example, the supply chain, logistics, computer systems such as storage systems, EDA, data centers, uh, networks, and actual. So uh, uh, here, a little advertisement we are hiring, including regular employees interns and postdocs. So feel free to contact us if you are interested in any of the directions above. So let's go into our computation content. Uh, our computation is based on a problem called the dynamic pickup and delivery scenario, uh, which is extracted from our practical system. Uh, actually, it is very easy to understand this application. Uh, today, uh, the apps such as Uber or DD are widely used. Uh, this is just like uh, when you are using Uber or DD in uh, manufacturing fields. Uh, in our manufacturing region, there are many warehouses and factories. The materials and the semi-manufactured semi stuff need to be dynamically transported among these reports. Uh, because of the dynamic subsystem, the orders, these requirements can be regarded as randomly generated from the scheduling point of view. Normally, uh, we rent a fleet of vehicles and these vehicles are dynamically scheduled to satisfy all the transportation requirements. So where are order is generated, it is required to be finished to re uh, which is to reach its destination within a limited time. For example, uh, within, normally within four hours in our region. Because the delivered objects are not as flexible as the person, uh, in this scenario, it must follow the first in, last out constraints. And also the loading and unloading dock has some bandage constraints. Uh, when there are many vehicles which one depot, they must line up and wait for the landing and unloading of cargoes. Actually, this is a simplified problem for our practical system. Actually, uh, our real scenario should consider uh, other difficult constraints. For example, the different time requirement of different regions. All time requirements must be satisfied, different price for different regions, and the high price for urgently at one vehicle beyond the monthly rented uh, fleet of vehicles, and also the different charging method within and outside the manufacturing regions. Uh, here for this competition, we consider the ideal case. We suppose there are enough number of vehicles in the pool. And uh, the optimization objective is to minimize the weighted sum of service quality and uh, distance. The set service quality is a uh, 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 in-time finish score. Uh, to support the competition, we release the simulator. Uh, so this the simulator is designed as follows. The requirements, uh, which is the orders, is, is batchly released. So uh, the scheduling egg form is invoked batchly. The simulator will accept the result of an egg form and schedule all the vehicles according to it. 
the simulator simulates the draining of our vehicles, loading and unloading the cargoes. Of course, if the scheduling microphone runs too long, the system status may change a lot comparing with the time when it is invoked. So uh, normally, uh, the scheduling problem design for this kind of scenario, including the heuristic microphones uh, and the exact microphones using the mathematical programming and also the combination of them. Uh, in recent years, people are trying to use the machine learning method, such as reinforcement learning for this problem. We call this learning to optimize. This is the new direction. So for example, uh, in our system, the egg form we designed online, we, we deployed online is a heuristic egg form uh, because there are too many rules to follow and the IT system requires a white box solution. The basic idea is to sort all the requirements and supplies by some rules and sequentially match them. Uh, we, we also have some uh, new trainings. We have an experimental machine learning solution. Uh, in this solution, we replace the planning part, the matching of orders and the vehicles by a reinforcement learning model. Actually, this, this work has been published in this year's ICDE. So uh, let's see the uh, uh, competition results. This year, uh, there are totally 800 people, 844 people, and 153 teams who attended this competition. Uh, so it's really a senior competition, and it is my great pleasure to announce our top three winners. The third place, the bronze prize, uh, is Marco, Thomas, and Peter from the Institute uh, for Computer Science and Control from Hungary. Uh, the second place, the silver prize, is Ye Jia Hui, uh, Liang Enming from Tsinghua University and Sun Yixian University from China. And the first place, the gold prize, is from Zhu Qingling, uh, Cai Jinchuang, and uh, uh, Lin Qiuzhen from Shenzhen University. So congratulations for all our uh, winners and all the other competitors. You have achieved a really excellent and amazing achievement. Uh, many teams actually made very excellent scouts. So thank you very much for attending the competitions. And thank you for your excellent works. Uh, we'll make this benchmark and the tools as a long-term package. Feel free to give us feedbacks for any comments and uh, to help us find many, any shortcomings of our simulators and toolkits. We'll continue to complete this benchmark and the simulator tools and add more practical constraints into it. Uh, we will, it will become a long-term competition and research benchmark to promote the most advanced research in this direction. So please uh, continue to follow this, this website, keep in touch with us, and see you next year. So let's, ne uh, next, let's give our time to our winners to introduce our solutions. Hi everyone, I am Tomas Tisch and I'm going to present the solution approach of the team Tweaker Street for uh, dynamic pickup and delivery problem by Jose. The team is the members Marco Horvath, Tomas Tisch, myself, and Peter Georgi. Our approach has four main steps. First, we read the input data, then we construct an initial schedule, improve it by local search, and finally, we write the output class. The schedules uh, specify for each vehicle a sequence of factories along with the uh, pickups and deliveries of the items, some of the items and, uh, and the factories, and, uh, and we also compute uh, timing for the arrivals and departure of, of the vehicles by simulation. And we take we pay special attention to the a limited number of ports or gates at the factories which can be used to, to serve the vehicles. The score computation, uh, our score is a perturbation of the score formula of the problem formulation. So the original formula had terms lambda times F1 plus F2 the F1 measured the uh, total tardiness of the customer orders and F2 the, the average uh, 
terrible distance of the vehicles, and at this uh, penalty time, uh, from the time to F3, where F3 is the, doc is the docking time times the uh, square of the excess use of the ports of the, of the factory, where this excess use is uh, computed as follows. So for each factory, we determine the number of distinct vehicles visiting the factory, and we subtract from this the part number plus three, so we take the positive part of this quantity, and we take the square of this quantity. And we do it for each, each factory. And the goal of this penalty term is somehow to, to ensure that not too many vehicles uh, visit the same factory in a, in a schedule. <clears throat> the construction of an initial schedule is the following. First, we split the customer orders, which are beyond the vehicle's capacity, into pieces such that each piece fits into a vehicle. Then we compute a lower bound on the latest of the customer orders. So this uh, lower bound is nothing else but the traveling time from the pickup to the delivery location, plus the loading time, plus the unloading time, plus the docking time, and we add to all this the current time and the subtract from its quantity, the, the due date of the customer order. And with the time left to start the customer order, such that it finishes on time, is less than half an hour, then we consider this uh, urgent, otherwise it is not so urgent. And we start the insertion by, the, in, uh, by inserting the urgent customer orders, and then we continue with the not urgent customer orders. The other ones are inserted insert in the schedule in that is in the uh, travel time order. <clears throat> and the insertion of our customer orders is nothing else that we take the pickup and the delivery factory, and we insert the spare into the into, into a vehicle route no possible ways, such that uh, the pickup and the delivery factories are consecutive during the insertion or the, in the insertion. So this means that uh, for, for this example, we have two possible insertions. First one is that we insert F3 between F1 and F2. And the second possibility is that we insert F3 and F2 after uh, the vehicle's uh, current route. And we, uh, Always choose the best insertion for, for each customer order, which means that we try all vehicles and all possible conditions. And our local search procedure is just the repeated insertion of the customer orders into the schedule, and we always pick a customer order and the best position on the best vehicle, which minimizes the, 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 the score. And this defines one iteration and we usually are able to make 20 to 30 iterations. And finally, uh, our score history, so along with the uh, uh, main argument ideas. So uh, our first score was this one in the, in the phase, in the second phase. So for this one, we just use the initial schedule construction and the local search, and we gained a lot by <coughs> the exact evaluation by simulation. By, distingu by distinguishing urgent and not urgent customer orders, and, uh, and also by using the arrival times for computing the tardiness, and finally, by adding the positive 10, we obtain our final best score. Thank you for your attention. Hello, everyone. I came from Team Y. Our team includes two members. My friend Emin Liang and me. We are very pleased to be invited to give this talk, this tech talk, share our resolution and some personal thinkings with you. The dynamic pickup and delivery problem has been clearly stated by SCU of driver team. Given the objective function that aims to minimize driver distance and overtime costs, from our point of view, challenges mainly came from two folds. The first is insufficient vehicles and the second is temporal spatial imbalance of demand. For the first challenge, uh, we find that from the offline data sets, the first several instances are much like toy samples and it is easier to avoid overtime costs. In the last several instances seems much closer to online data sets. Vehicles uh, insufficient in overtime cost becomes much larger. And for the second challenge, 
we find that some extreme popular factors have a huge amount in and out orders. For example, the factory start with 244 string. And this, uh, the second point is when the dock number is limited, it will even incur a large waiting time cost. And besides, orders arrival rates have peaks and valleys. Usually, late morning and afternoon have more orders. So, motivated by these observations, we design our solution as follows. And there includes four modules. The first part is pre-processing module. It uh, includes how to deal with non-empty vehicles and uh, route level packing. For the non-empty vehicles, it means uh, it has carried the items and we will update uh, the incoming vehicles. And it can be assigned to their destination nodes. And for the empty vehicles, it refers to the vehicles that has been allocated to the order but have not yet arrived at the pickup factory. And it can be added items during the pickup journey. And the second part is route level packing. Um, we will first check whether the order can be split or not and packing them for each route. Uh, then we will fill up each bag. Each bag will contain the following attributes. The first is raw string, and second is total time, third is minimum creation time, and the fourth is raw item, and the fifth is raw capacity. And we we'll finally reverse the items of this bag uh, due to the first and last out principle. In the next, we will. Uh, comes into the most important part that this, this is uh, condition checking. It includes three parts. The first is time thread, and the second is capacity thread, and the third is incoming car. Um, we will check bags in order of creation time or from earlier to late and pick up the minimum pickup time vehicle. Then we will check whether it meets meets the allocation condition. If it um, meets the condition, we will allocate the vehicle to this order. Uh, first is time thread, and um, that's for the details. And the second is capacity thread. Um, it means we will, uh, here, we use some threshold uh, 15 and 9. 15 is for the most popular sites. Um, that start with 244, this factory. And the second is 9. Uh, this is for the other factories. And we go minus uh, um, a turn that is pick up time, uh, divide 600. It means uh, if the distance is far, we can allocate, we can pre allocate these vehicles in advance and uh, it can be added items during this pickup trip. And the last one is incoming car. Uh, that means we can assign the incoming car to the back of this site. Um, it will save one approach time that is 1800. And last is combined dupli duplicate nodes in write output. It is just a, a light revision to the original code provided by the uh, by the provider. And the last slide is personal thinking. Uh, the first is competitions may not always ref uh, perfectly reflect the academic problems. We may finally overfit the testing data sets. Uh, for myself, uh, in the last few days, in the, in the last day, as the last day, I try to overfit the data set to, uh, to increase my performance, but may but this trial may lose some gen, uh, generality. That means the algorithm may not uh, perfectly fit to other data sets. 
And the second is, um, is um, DPCP is also a valuable research problem and deserve general and robust solutions. Uh, our team will continue to uh, put effort on this field to uh, try some other more effective way to solve this problem. Thank you, that's all. Hello, my name is Qin Lin Zhu. I'll introduce a variable neighborhood search method for dynamic pickup and delivery problem. My teammates include Jun Tan Tai and uh, Dr. Chiu Zhenli. In this presentation, I'll first have a brief, brief introduction about the dynamic pickup and delivery problem. Then I'll introduce the variable neighborhood search method for solving the DPDP problem. After that, I'll give the results and the conclusions. Let's begin with the problem. The static pickup and delivery problem uh, gives a set of orders and a fleet of vehicles. The objective is to get a uh, get all assignment plan and the uh, route plan of each vehicle so that the total travel cost and the uh, total of orders is minimized. The details of this problem can be found in the competition web website. The dynamic problem is one where orders are not completely known in advance but becomes available during the planning period. To solve this problem, we can split the uh, planning horizon into a set of in uh, time intervals. Uh, in this presentation, the planning horizon is 24 hours and the time interval is uh, 10 minutes. Therefore, uh, there are 104 time intervals for each time interval. We need to solve a, a static pickup and delivery problem. Next, I'll introduce our method. Our method is, uh, has four steps. But in the first step, we restore and uh, reconstruct a solution from the results in the previous time interval. In the second step, four local search operators are used to improve the current solution. In the third step, we disturb the current best solution to jump out of local minima. In the fourth step, we only output the emergency routes. For the restore and the reconstruct strategy, we divide the unlocated orders into old orders and new orders. The old orders are already in the previous solution, but not dispatched. The list orders don't need to be assigned to vehicles. The new orders are the ones that are available in the current uh, uh, time interval. So these orders, we use the uh, cheapest insert strategy, which assign a new order to a vehicle with minimal cost. The first local search uh, operator is couple exchange operator. This operator exchanged two pairs of pickup delivery nodes like this. And the second local search operator is relocate operator. This operator it uh, relocates a pair of pickup and delivery nodes into another route. The third uh, local search operator is block exchange. This operator exchanges two blocks. And the fourth local search operator is block relocate. This operator relocates a block to another uh, position. After local search operation, we disturb the current best solution by two opt operator, like this. 
to jump out our local minimum, the acceptance criterion for this operator is set to delta times the uh, cost of best solution. The data must be uh, larger than uh, one. In the final step, we don't dispatch the orders in the loop that is not emergency. Here, we next uh, I'll show the result. Here, we show the average local test scores and the submission scores for each step, as can be observed the score decreased after applying uh, each step. Finally, is the conclusion. Uh, in this presentation, I've introduced a variable neighborhood search method for memory pickup and delivery problem. Four steps are designed to solve the competition problem. I think an accurate and efficient fitness evaluation uh, in each reorganizing re re process is very important. This is the other uh, reference. Thanks for your listening.